Hey there. What you got there, Sue? Hi, Sue. <clears throat> How's it all going? So um, tonight I'm going to be safety conscious, but be proactive at the same time. We all have noise in our shops. Some noise is bigger than others. My lathe isn't that noisy, but my uh, dust extraction can be a little noisy. Uh, when you're grinding, it's noisy. If you have like a three and a half horsepower dust collection unit, those can be very noisy. Noisy. Uh, band saws can be noisy. So let's be proactive and try to stop the noise. You want to get earmuffs or some kind of ear protection that's, I don't know what, they're, what the OSHA rating is now. I want to say like 28 decibels or 26 decibels. So wear your ear protection. But I read an article where this one guy, he decided to be more than proactive. And what he did, he's got a three car garage and converted it into a shop. And he got this three and a half horsepower dust collection unit. And he built a closet around it because he didn't have an extra room to put it in. And what he did was the closet that he built, yes, there's doors that he can go in and and empty it all, all the time, but all the way around it and on top of it is insulated from the inside. And then on the outside, he he put some pegboard up so he could attach tools and stuff, stuff to his closet. But he said it really did help the noise from his new dust collection. Of course, now he thinks he would have been better putting it in a corner and doing a two-sided closet, but you know, that's hindsight. But what I'm saying, we're all, we're turners, guys. We all love to turn. But we're also woodworkers. Some of us are machinists. And some of us can fix just about anything that we think we can. And so think about ways of saving your hearing. Maybe insulating your dust collector. Maybe putting it into another room if you have the opportunity to do that. Uh, I have two dust collectors. One in my regular flat shop, which is a one-car garage. And my lathe room is my Florida room or sun room. And uh, the one in the garage is a fine. And I made a, uh, a rack for it that was two by two feet and then a rack uh, and, and then it's a, a thing on top to hold the two five gallon pails for the Oneida uh, attraction system. And that works well. I do wear ear hearing protection. It's not that noisy, but it's noisier than what I would like it to be. On my new shop, I traded myself in this year. Instead of buying a fine vacuum extractor, I bought a Festool vacuum extractor. And yes, I know that I could have gotten a bigger one cheaper, but folks, I have I don't have that much room out there. And Oneida has a dust collector or you know, chip collector that fits perfectly on top of that Festool unit and it's black. It holds, I don't know, 16, 20 gallons of junk if you wouldn't let it go that long. And it has uh, uh, bags that you can put in it and all that good stuff. What I'm saying is be proactive. Think about ways to make your shop quieter. Uh, I have ear protection over on every machine because I'm one of these that I'm good at putting them on, and then I take them off, and then I go to another machine and say, what did I do with my hearing protection? <laughs> so, yes, I have them on all my machines. So, folks, dust collection, it really helps us for breathing, but it can be detrimental to our hearing. 
So uh, I'm just saying be proactive and protect yourself. So take care. Have a great, great week. And I'm glad you guys had a wonderful time at SWAT. I wish I was there. And Eddie, I know that you had the time of your life. So good for you. Take care, everyone. I'll see you next week. Be safe out there.